Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are seeing my video for the first time, please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. If you are a returning subscriber, I say thank you very much. Thank you for always coming back to this channel to watch my video. So, guys, in today's tutorial, we're going to be making um, a fascinator. I don't know the name to give the fascinator, but maybe I will just call it a butterfly fascinator. When we are done, you will see the reason why I'm calling it a butterfly fascinator. So we'll be making use of this material. This is my hot glue gun. This pair is for embellishments, para material. This is crinoline. Then we'll be making use of this air bag. Then I have my scissors. Then I have my pro and needle and thread so let's get into the tutorial proper so this crinoline is about um three yards it's very long so i can't start measuring it but it's about three yards long so what we are going to do there is this part on crinoline that has thread and there's a part that doesn't have um thread we are going to um tape this part that doesn't have thread with our Ankara material so what we are just going to do is you cut out your Ankara fabric the one that will be long enough to tape your quinoline so this is what I have I'll still cut other Ankara fabric to join this so that it will be enough for me so um the the width is two inches the length will be as long as your crinoline is so what we will do is you go to your pressing iron you want to form a bias fold half inch this way then fold another half inch this way then fold this way and you go to your pressing iron and press it down so i'll do that and come back and show you so guys this is it i'm done pressing i folded half an inch this way half an inch then folded it this way just to form a bias strip you can see how long the strip is so you pick your crinoline on this edge place your ankara in between that is your crinoline should be in between your ankara fabric and fold it this way Fold this other one this way then you just go to your sewing machine and sew it from this end to the other end if you don't have a sewing machine please use needle and thread and sew very neatly so i'll go and sew and come back and show you so guys this is it i'm done sewing the tip as you can see i use a matching thread to sew it so it doesn't look rough and you can use um uhu instead of sewing and you can use your hot glue to attach your fabric to your crinoline instead of sewing so this is what we have after sewing then the next thing i will do is to come to the edge so fold your crinoline this way then hold it i'm going to use thread to tie it this is the thread I make. It's very thick because I don't want it to cut while I'm doing that. So you just tie it this way to hold this tip together so it doesn't free apart. So I'll just tie it. Then I'll do the same for the this other end. So guys, this is I'm done tying. I tied the both end, so this is what it looks like. So now this end, we are going to go in with running stitches. We we'll sew from one end to this other end using needle and thread. I doubled my uh, thread because I don't want it to cut while 
I am dragging. So you start sewing this way. Let us secure our needle on this part before I start sewing. So I've secured my thread from this knot. So now you can start running your running stitch. This, your running stitch should not be close to yourself. Just this way I'm doing. You see the space in between the so that's how you run it from one end to the other end. So when you get to this end, you, you drag your thread. This is what you have. This one is very full because it's three yards. So if you want to make your own, you can use maybe like two yards or one yard or one yard and you have to make your own if you don't want it to be very full like my own. So when you get to this point, what we are going to do is to use is to sew the two ends together or sew this end and this end together so sewing these two ends is not that easy so i think what we'll do first is to use thread to tie the both ends together this way just tie it first so just tie this way for sewing is difficult and tie your thread, then you can now sew the rest. So what I did was to tie first, then this end where the crinoline are meeting, I will sew it a bit so that it will close. You can decide to use your shoe or hot glue to glue your own together. Or you can even sew it on your machine. So when, you, when you have stitched to the point where you want to stop this way you can now cut off your thread tie your thread and cut it off So I'm done stitching and I've also cut off my thread. So this part now will be the down part. This will be the top of our fascinator. So we are going to use something right here. So I'll just keep this aside. Then you go back to our material, our current material. And you open it wide. So you get any round shape um, object. Me, I'll be using cup. This is the front side of my Akara material. So I'll be cutting from the wrong side because I want to mark it with a pen. So you just take your pen or your round shaped object, anything. It can be maybe um, your marking tape. You can use it, it's also round. So just cut out as many circles as possible. We're using it to form a rose or flower. That's just what I'll be doing when I'm done. I'll come back and show you. So, guys, after tracing out the circle, what I just did was to trace out the circle from the Ankara fabric, and this is what I have. So, you cut a smaller circle that is smaller than this fabric, and that's what we'll be using for the base. So, you just put it this way take your Ankara fabric, this is the um, 
right side and this is the inside so just fold it this way then you will be, will be adding glue hot glue add your glue so that when you fold it to stay in place you fold this way then you still add your glue this way then you fold be careful this glue is usually very hot so this is this and that's what i'll be doing for the rest of the circle So I am done folding. This is what we have. So you take that your smaller cycle and we'll start arranging these flowers on top. So you start from the midpoint. Just put your hot glue and then start arranging your fabric this way. That's the first step. When that is done, you will do the next one. We are done with that. So we'll do the next one as well. And this is the last one. Let's add hot glue and fix it in. So this is what a flower look like. So we'll go back to our crinoline. I'll be putting this here at this midpoint. So you just apply your hot glue here. Then you place this on it and you hold it to dry for some while. So when it's dry, this is what your butterfly fascinator will look like. So we'll go back to this down part now. This part where I tie together will go meet down. Like won't affect your hairband. So just apply a little hot glue and press it down. So when that is done, this side, just cut a little piece of acara fabric we use to cover up the space. So that's what I have done. Just use it to cover up the space this way. And I'll leave it to dry. So when that is done, you take your headband. I'm using this elastic headband. You can use um, a plastic headband, that big or that smaller one. So what I'll simply be doing is to take my needle and thread and tack it. You can also use um, your hot glue to glue this band if you don't want to sew. But I really want mine to, to be firm. That's why I'll be sewing the, the rubber band on the fascinator. So guys, I am done tacking the headband. So this is what we just want to use small Ankara fabric to cover this up so that we'll have a neat finishing. So we we'll apply a little hot glue and just place your Ankara fabric on it. So 
you can see we have a very neat finish here so guys while we are waiting for that to dry we are basically done with this um fascinator you can decide to rock it this way or you can use this um pear bead to do embellishment on it to just place it that way So like I said, you can embellish your crinoline with PSB like this way. Like just embellish it anyhow you want. You can just cut it on it. Just with your hot glue, glue it the way anyhow you want. Or you leave it this way. So me, I'll be leaving mine this way. And we have come to the end of this video. So guys, this is the finish work of our butterfly quinoline. So I'll put it on my head now so that you will see how it looks like. So guys, this is how you wear it. You can decide to put it on your left this way or you bring it to, this, to the front side, to the center, or you bring it this way. Anyhow you want to wear it, that's how you wear it. So guys, tell me what you feel about this tutorial. Like, share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next tutorial.